All right, let's go ahead and implement an auth feature in our application, something I'm sure all of us are going to be building. To do this, what I'm going to do is first set up a stack navigator that's going to represent our actual authentication stack, which is going to have sign in, sign up. So I'm going to go down and actually define this. So now that we've got this stack, we can go ahead and actually render this. And then let's go ahead and go to our sign in screen and actually add a button, which will allow us to go to our sign up screen. So now if we press sign up, we can go to our sign up screen and that's all set up and good to go. Next, we need to decide, well, when a user opens our app, how do we know which screen to display? That's going to take some amount of time. Maybe we're checking async storage to see if they have an authentication token. And that's what's going to determine, are we going to show them the auth stack or are we going to show them the drawer screen? So to do this, what we could do is to just simulate it right now uh, because we're not actually going to go through and implement all of that logic because it'll be different for all of us. We'll just go ahead and simulate that by setting an is loading state using react hooks and we'll default that to true. And let's say if we are loading, so if is loading, we're going to go ahead and return a loading screen. Now we need to go ahead and import this is loading screen. And now when we render our app, it's going to go ahead and just show us a blank white screen, which is our loading screen. Now we could go ahead and say react.useEffect. Actually, let's go ahead and put this above our is loading. We can say react.useEffect. It's not going to have any dependencies, so it's only going to run once. We'll then go ahead and set an interval timer. Rather, we're going to use set timeout so that after 500 seconds, or sorry, 500 milliseconds, I won't make you guys wait too long, uh, set is loading will then become not is loading. That way we'll go ahead, we'll see our blank white screen, and then we'll see our auth screen, or we'll just go down into our navigation container. Alternatively, what we could do is just go ahead and down here we could say is loading. We can pass it the loading if so, otherwise we'll go ahead and render our auth stack screen. We'll just remove that from down here. This will allow us to remove this up here. And then we also have access to navigation context from our loading screen. Oops, and this should actually be auth stack screen. Alternatively, we or in addition, we can also track is valid user or something along those lines to represent user. Let's just go ahead and set it to user. And then we can say set user is equal to react.useState. We'll initialize this to null. If we have a user, then we're going to go ahead and render our app drawer screen. Otherwise, we're going to render our auth stack screen. Then from here, we could go ahead and say, if we have a user, we'll go ahead and render our app drawer screen. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and render that app or the auth stack screen. So if we're loading, show the loading. If we've got a user, show the drawer. If we don't have a user, go ahead and show the stack screen. Now what we could do here, let's just say set timeout, just so we can see, we'll do this after one second, we'll set user to just an empty object. And this, we should see our loading screen, then we should see sign in, then we should see our user. Now ideally what would happen here is in that first second we'll know, or that first 500 seconds, we know one, we're loading, and then once loading is complete, we know, do we have a user, do we not have a user? And if that's the case, then we'll know that we'll see loading and we'll go directly to the user, otherwise, or to the app drawer, otherwise we'll go to our sign-in screen. 
And that's really the basis of setting up this authentication system uh, or the, the navigation component of it, right? If you need to figure out from the sign in screen, do we go to the auth screen or sorry, do we go to the app screen or not? Uh, you'll take that data and you can use React Context to actually figure out how to set this user after sign in. Do we get a successful response? Do we get that user? Go ahead and then set that user so we have it. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to cover that, uh, but the navigation component of it's all going to look the same as what we've got here. So we'll just leave it there and I can link to a code example of how you can do that down below uh, in the description, just so you know, have a reference point of how you could do that uh, with React Context. You could also just use it passing plain props. You could use Redux. You can do a million different ways, but the navigation component of it is always going to look pretty much the same as what we've got here.